Welcome everybody back to another Super Mario Odyssey challenge video. Now for today's challenge, I'm going to be taking on a waterless challenge in the Snow Kingdom. Now contrary to what you may be thinking, it is not waterless for this main part out here. It actually takes place in a challenge room. The challenge room you're going to be entering for this challenge is actually located right here on the map or right next to Luigi when you start on this platform up here. It's pretty easy to get to, and you'll be able to tell which one it is due to the scarecrow in the front. Alright, so now that we're here, let me actually explain what we're going to do. I kind of just previously mentioned we're going to be doing a waterless challenge. Now, let me just run through this actual challenge room really quickly just to show you how much water there is. So right off the bat, there's this huge pond of water right here. We're going to be trying to skip, and then, once you pass that Goomba, there's these water cubes that you need to swim in in order to get above this platform. Alright, upon making your way up here, you will notice that there's a cave that is filled with water. Now this part, you may be thinking, how are we going to skip this part without touching any water? And the answer to that is that we're going to be pulling off a jump that I saw in one of your some fires videos, all linked down in the description, so make sure you go check it out. I actually tried this challenge a long time ago, like a couple months ago, but I can never get past this one simple part. But now that Pearson Fire showed that this final jump that I'm going to be showing you later is indeed possible, we can complete this waterless challenge. I'm going to head back down to the start and then I'll show you what the first attempt is going to look like. You guys probably already realized, but we also don't have a Cappy, which is going to add a bonus challenge. And that is super easy once you get some momentum. I didn't even get a perfect jump right there, but we have skipped that huge gap of water. Now let's move on to this part. Now normally, like you saw in the beginning, these moving elevators would lift us up. Let's see if there's a way we can do it without touching the water. Okay, so that, ooh, maybe we can do a... It's gonna have to be perfectly timed. Oh, we did it. Okay, first try. That was pretty intense right there. I did not think we we're gonna be able to do that in time. But now, for the real challenge of... But now, moving on to the real difficult part of this challenge. As you can see, you are going to line up about right here, then do a simple roll. Oh boy. That was the momentum we needed. We just missed the jump. Boy, what am I doing over here? But you know what? It's cool, guys. There's no way this isn't going to be possible. All right, I'll see myself out. Oh my gosh, that was the closest one yet. No. No, I did it. I actually, I am act. Holy frick! That took for ever. I can't even. I don't even have words right now. Okay, basically all I have to say is huge props to Fearsome Fire. I did not. When I was watching this video, I did never think this jump was gonna be so hard. But literally, I spent almost. Let me check the time. Holy frick! It's been almost two hours now since I've been trying this jump. But we did it guys, that is a challenge, we completed this challenge waterless, so that's a really neat challenge, I feel like it's very difficult, not really worth it, but it was still pretty fun to show off, I hope you did enjoy this video, again make sure you go check out Fearsomes, it will be in the description, but yeah that's going to do it, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see every one of you next video, bye.